thank you very much, Madam Chair, and thank you to everyone for being here. This is obviously incredibly serious. Um, and um, Mr. Shaw, Norfolk Southern's lack of transparent communication with impacted states, I'm specifically thinking of Michigan now, during the cleanup process concerns me. Uh, do you think it was acceptable that the company started moving toxic waste from East Palestine to Michigan without notifying Michigan officials? Michigan officials were not notified. Senator, working with the EPA, uh, we were taking product to facilities that were specifically designed to handle this type of material. But Michigan officials, the governor, myself, Senator Peters, Michigan EPA, and so were not notified before that happened. And so let me just say that I'm, that's why I'm really glad the EPA is now overseeing this process going forward because um, that's not acceptable to us in Michigan. And so uh, Administrator Shore, moving forward, can I count on you and the EPA to work with us during the cleanup process so we can make sure Michigan families aren't put in danger? Senator Stabenow, you certainly can. The administrative order that we issued that went into effect fully on February 27th requires Norfolk Southern to notify our co-regulators, in your case, the e Michigan Eagle, of shipments to the state. But as they continue to ship waste, EPA will take the additional step of keeping you and congressional staff in the state informed. Thank you so much, because that did not happen at the beginning. And so I appreciate now with EPA oversight that this will be happening because it was very concerning to people in Michigan and as well as elected officials. Um, I have a quote from Norfolk Southern. We are going to learn from this terrible accident and work with regulators and elected officials to improve railroad safety. Mr. Shaw, we certainly need to do that. We certainly need to strengthen safety standards, especially now that we have an administration that supports strong standards instead of working to gut them like the last administration did. So we're now in a good spot to be able to move forward. We have bipartisan legislation to do that. But here's my question. Um, when you tell us the company is ready to learn from this, I'd feel better if this wasn't the 20th time since 2015 that the company has had a derailment result in a chemical release. And it's my understanding that the 21st incident almost happened in Van Buren Township in Michigan just two weeks after East Palestine. So my question is, great that you're saying you're gonna learn from number 20. What did you learn from number 19? What did you learn from number one or number five or number 10 or number 15? Um, what safety measures have you implemented since this was the 20th time since 2015 that there has been a derailment resulting in a chemical release? Senator, I think that's the right thing to focus on. Now I'm focused on it too. We invest over a billion dollars a year in safety, and you've seen over time the number of derailments and hazardous material releases and personal injuries decline. We will continue to get better, and I'm committed to creating the best safety culture in the industry. Just this week, we announced several new initiatives to enhance safety, which included more hot box detectors across our network partnering with other railroads to share best practices on hot box detector technology. We are, we are also putting up a machine visioning portal that can catch things that the human eye can't, developed in partnership with Georgia Tech. There are a number of different areas in which we are investing in safety. I'm, I am very confident in the NTSB process, which is focused on right now a a wheel bearing that failed and noted that the Norfolk Southern crew and the hot box detectors and the track were all operating as, as appropriate. I'm not waiting for the full response, and you're seeing action right now. 
I appreciate that. I think it's probably hard for families and businesses in East Palestine to hear this, though, when if that had been done in response to number 18 in the Jewel Elements, or number 15, or number four, or, or any of those, we wouldn't have had number 20, which is what's happening to the community right now. And my heart goes out to them and what they're having to deal with, and frankly, having had these similar, different but similar situations with toxic substance in Michigan and so on, this is gonna take a long time for them to be able to recover. And so this is number 20. I don't want number 21 in Michigan or any place else for that matter. And we talked a lot about the, the investments that you're look, looking at and making in the community, which, uh, which you need to do legally, morally, ethically, in every which way. But I hope, also hope that you're looking at uh, taking another look at stock buybacks of the future. I know you've done six and a half billion already in the last two years, and there was 7.5 billion supposedly coming up. Um, it'd be a better use of that, of that money, if in fact you were investing in aggressive, responsible, safety measures and making this community and any other community whole.